Yo YouTube, it's RT Kill back with another video. Today is gonna be something a little different as y'all see by the title of the video. We taking delivery of a Pontiac G8. I know it's something different, you know, my name is RT Kill, but we gotta switch it up a little bit. We're gonna try to see, you know what I'm saying, bring in some LS guys, you know what I'm saying? Bring in, bring in a whole different community to the channel. I'm still gonna be RT Kill because that's what I started off with, so I ain't no point in changing it. You know I'm saying I still got love for Dodge. Dodge, you know what I'm saying? I still like Emmys, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanna switch things up, you know what I'm saying? Bring a different community to the channel. Uh and we just gonna, you know what I'm saying, see how it go. I still got the charger. You know what I'm saying? So I'm finna show y'all the car. I mean, I just went and got it this morning. As soon as I got off work, I went. And got the car, only had it for about three hours now, you know what I'm saying? Playing with it, you know what I'm saying? Figuring it out, seeing what it can do. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's all stock other than a cold air intake and muffler delete and a resonator delete. Other than that, it's stock besides the rims. Um, it's got painted calipers, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all while I'm talking about it. There she go, y'all. There she go. I know first thing y'all see is the 22 inch rim. Yeah. I got it from a uh a old head, you know what I'm saying? A dude we call Unk. So you know what I'm saying? He liked to ride, he rocked it, he liked to ride low and slow. So he got the 22s on there. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta get them up out of there. For the build that I wanna do, we gonna get them up out of there. I'm saying, Unk had the red calipers, painted red calipers. We gonna get the Camaro or the Cadillac Rimbos on there. Okay. You know what I'm saying, probably one of the upgrades. Got the stock exhaust. I'm saying, dual, dual stock exhaust. I'm saying we got the stock tail lights. We're gonna get different tail lights. We're gonna get a whole exhaust system. And this side. For the year though, for the for, it's a 2009 Pontiac G8 GT, for the year is very clean. I'm not gonna lie. Very clean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a little walk around. We do got the uh, aftermarket headlights with the strip in them. Not sure what they're called, but aftermarket lights i don't know if i'm gonna keep those or if i'm gonna go a different route i did a couple hours of research last night and you know what i'm saying just picking out my options and everything you know of course we got tent gotta have a tent back windshield tenant only thing that's not tinted is the front windshield we gotta get that tenant you know what I'm saying? You can see straight through there. You know what I'm saying? You see straight through there. Another thing the car doesn't have is a damn sunroof. Oh my God! A damn sunroof. We do not have a sunroof, y'all. But I think I'm gonna make it. It's my first car without a sunroof. Even my daily has a sunroof. Like the car I just try to save money has a sunroof so i don't know it's my first car out of the sunroof we're gonna see how it go but i think i'm gonna be good i think i'm gonna make it it got ac it got all that around the windows you know what i'm saying it's not it's not my everyday car so i think i'll be all right so i'm finna uh so that's about it on the outside 22 inch rims got 22 inch rims from um you know what i'm saying um, I'm gonna slow I did vacuum it out and I did wash it, so you know what I'm saying? There's a little bit of clean. I didn't really like wipe it down or wax it or nothing, but I did clean it up for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I did try to vacuum it a little bit. So this is what we're working with. We gotta fix the seat. It works, it's just, you know what I'm saying? We gotta put it back together. Uh, we got these panels right here. We gotta work back together. 
them panels you gotta work back together steering wheel we do got the red and black leather i love that if i wanted a j i wanted the red and black leather that was one of the things i wanted so we got the black on red you know what i'm saying black rims red calipers and then black and red seats so i see where he was getting at you know what i'm saying i see where he was getting that black and red shifter we got the stock radio you know what i'm saying so i think it's a stock sound system sound system sounds horrible so we gotta figure that out you know what i'm saying coming from a dodge dodge has the alpines in there so you know what I'm saying? I'm just used to Alpine. Got the, got the, see, I was vacuuming it out, so I ran out of quarters to wash off this floor mat, so I just put it on a seat, but we got the red and black back too. Interior's clean. No holes, no rips. Other than the driver's seat, I believe. Yep, other than that. Uh, Headliner is great. We don't got no tears, no holes, no loose spots. I'm saying I heard that's notorious for GH to have loose uh, headliners or baggy headliners. You gotta get them re-glued and stuff like that. So right now we don't have that problem. Um, I believe it is a Michigan car, no rust. As y'all see, no rust. In the car, no rust for all nines, real clean. Okay. This is this is day one of the build, y'all. We're gonna build this as well as the charger. We still got love for the charger. I ain't, I ain't forget the charger, y'all. I still, you know what I'm saying, I still think about it. <laughs> still got they got orange challenger, y'all. Scat. I thought he was gonna show me something. He didn't want to show me nothing. So let's show y'all the, the motor real quick. Oh. All right. So I see first time pop, well, second time popping the hood. I see I gotta get new hinges. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. See, I gotta get new hinges. So let me hurry up and do this for y'all. So as y'all see, we got the LS3 6 uh, Only I think only modifications that's done is a cold air intake. You know what I'm saying? Most of you don't count that as a modification, but we gonna count it just cause. I don't know. I feel like it's a modification. I'm saying no headers. Stop. Headers or manifolds, you know what I'm saying? Everything stopped, you know what I'm saying? So, we got another build on our hands, y'all. You know saying? Bringing a, different, bringing a different community, LS, or Chevy guys, you know what I'm saying? Pontiac guys, whatever you want to call it. Same people. But yeah, so that's the Pontiac. It's my Pontiac, 2009 Pontiac GT. G8. Um, I'm trying to see, see the back wheels are huge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk back here. Y'all can see they kind of stick out a little bit. Y'all can see. Uh, let's see if y'all can see. The wheels kind of stick out a little bit. You know what I'm saying. So we gonna see what size these is. We got the. 295 25 22s 295 Sheesh. Yeah, so she got she got meat back there, y'all. She got meat. As we get set for the old meat back there. But you know what I'm saying the plan with this build is y'all. I want of course, you know what I'm saying, cam it. <laughs> Get a different set of wheels, uh, tail lights, headlights. Uh, we're gonna do the big brake upgrade. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get Brembo's on here. 
uh, Mighty Moon. I'm saying we're gonna get a tune. We're going to get a uh, transmission tune. Uh, it does have sport mode. I was, you know what I'm saying, playing with it just now before I decided to make a video. And um, it has sport mode or sport shift. I'm saying it's got power. It, it ain't no hoe now. It ain't no hoe. I don't give a fuck. It's got power for it to be, you know what I'm saying, an 09. It's got some power. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that's probably just off, just off the top of my head. That's a little bit about, that's a little bit what I want to do to it. Cam, wheels, big brake upgrade, front headlights, back tail lights, tint the front windshield. And then maybe if, I don't know, maybe if my phone's right or, if everything going good, maybe I'll do an LSA. I really want to do an LSA. You know what I'm saying? I really want to do an LSA. Go uh, E85. You know what I'm saying? Something different. Never, you know what I'm saying? This ain't my first LS, but I had an Impala SS with a LS3 in the 2 as well. Or it might have been the LS2. I'm not sure, y'all. I'm just not getting into the Chevy game, but I think it had an LS3. It was a 2006 Chevy Impala SS. I think it's a 5.3 LS3. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And I mean, it was smooth, you know what I'm saying? Other than I had to get a uh, trans cooler for the transmission. But other than that, that car, that car didn't give me no problems. Ended up crashing it, but I didn't, I didn't have no problems. And then. When I got done, when I got done with the insurance and everything with that car, I had got a Chrysler 300 with the Hemi in it. And then, uh, traded that, sold that, and that's when I got my Charger that y'all see on my channel now. And then now I got this Pontiac uh, G8. Of course I had other cars in between there. I got my daily, I had trucks and everything. I have many Tahoes and Suburbans with the 5.3 in it, so, I mean, I know a little bit about LS's, but never, like, modified one or built one or nothing like that, so this is going to be my first time building the LS. I'm excited. A different platform. Even the sound is different. Like, it sounds good. I'm not going to lie. Every time I hit the gas or I get on it, it sounds good. Um, we do... The car did come with headers and a full exhaust, cat back exhaust. So uh, we're gonna be putting that on in a couple days. You know what I'm saying? Put that on in a couple days. So it's gonna let it breathe better, open it up. The car came with the headers and exhaust, so why not throw it on? Why just have it sitting? You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna throw that on this uh, next couple days. Um course we got long tube headers uh we're gonna have a famous check engine light until i get it tuned and everything like that but um yeah y'all that's the build i can see the 22 inch rims it's close he was cutting it so close y'all that's close you know what i'm saying most people when they get these gx they don't put 22s on there damn look at that rim y'all He kind of hit it a little bit too. That orange was nice. Two orange uh, Dodgers, y'all. Orange Scat and then an orange 1500. But what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Most people don't put, you know what I'm saying, 22s on a G8. Damn. Uh, so when I, I'm saying, seen it on Marketplace, I got it on Facebook Marketplace. When I see it on Marketplace, I'm like, damn. That's a different kind of build, but. You know what I'm saying? He's an older, you know what I'm saying? He older, so he like to go low and slow. Just be cruising. He got his own little drag car. So this is just like his daily cruiser, I guess. He didn't really beat on it. So yeah, y'all. So that's the Pontiac G8. Uh, I was going to tell y'all something else. Yeah. It's a nice day and everybody just getting on it. Wow. Uh... Yeah, so that's the plan with the build, y'all. We're gonna do, you know what I'm saying, wheel, big brake upgrade, 
front tail lights, back tail lights, tint the front windshield, cam, lifter springs, DOD delete, uh, uh, maybe an LSA, I don't know. And then another thing too, he told me it was tuned on 93 and uh, it was tuned on 93. Oh, and uh, it has it has the DOD delete as far as like a tuner, not in the engine as far as the tune. So he went in there and tuned, turned it off, turned the DOD off. So, but you know, we got to go in there and get them lifters and all that extra stuff out. So that's the plan with the G8 as of now. You know what I'm saying LSA E85 cam. Thinking about going with the same cam that I got in the Charger Texas Speed Stage Four. I just love the sound of that. That cam is just I don't know. It just did something to me. Like I love the sound of that cam. So I might go that route with this. I'm not sure yet, but nine times out of ten, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I've been looking at BTR Stage Four, Stage Five. Mm. That's not really me, but we'll see. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, as of now, we got Pontiac G8 GT stock, other than the 22 inch rims and the lights. Uh, we're gonna be throwing on the headers and the cat back exhaust, full exhaust, three inches. So it's gonna be breathing real good, real nice. Um. I put a couple of dollars in the gas tank, you know what I'm saying? I put, I think I put 25 in the gas tank just to see, just, just to kind of compare it. And yeah, it drinks gas, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, it drinks gas. But that's okay, you know what I'm saying? Why would you buy a V8, you know what I'm saying? You don't buy it to save gas, you buy it for smiles per miles. You know what I'm saying? Or mile, smile, miles per smile. Smile, yeah, smile per mile. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah. Every mile you smile. Right. So yeah, y'all. I had a little tongue twister or whatever. But yeah, so that's what we getting into right now, y'all. We still gonna be building the charger. You know what I'm saying? We still gonna be, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever I told y'all we gonna be doing. Watch the previous videos about the charger build and everything. Uh, as y'all know, well, if some of y'all don't know, but the charger is going to the dealership tomorrow. Um, some of y'all may know from my previous videos that I uploaded about the charger. I took my charger to the tent shop and the guy, it's modules under my dash and he didn't put nothing to block the water from getting into my dash. So it messed up my body control module and there's just a whole bunch of electronics with my charger. So it's going to the dealership tomorrow to get all that looked at, get all that fixed. So the charger will be gone. We just got it back from the paint shop. It's been two weeks. I had it back for about four days now. You know what I'm saying? I took delivery of it. Y'all go check, look at look at that video. Y'all gonna see the paint job and everything that's done to it. Uh, but yeah, so the charger will be gone. I'm not sure for how long or I just gotta drop it off tomorrow morning and go from there. So when I get off work, I gotta go drop with the charger then Y'all gonna see me posting about the G8. So that's another reason why I got another car. Is because in two weeks, I was just bored. I couldn't make no content for y'all. You know I'm saying, I'm really trying to take this YouTube stuff serious. So I went and got another car. So one car's down or one car, you know what I'm saying? I got another car to give y'all content with. So Charles is going to the dealership Wednesday, tomorrow. Uh, let me see what else. Let me see what else, y'all. Get y'all update on everything else. We do got the rims and the rotors for the charger, as y'all see. Um, I'm just walking around the car, y'all, trying to see what else I can fish in here for y'all. Got the motorcycles out today, y'all. Another orange motorcycle, y'all. Oh, another another orange motorcycle, but another orange vehicle. What's up with orange? I don't know. It's crazy. It's the famous front bumper sag. I was YouTubing it yesterday, and they was talking about put like a, a pool noodle in there, and then I lift it up some. I was doing my little research, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Gotta make sure I know what I'm getting myself into. You know what I'm saying? 
Cause my cause my Impala I did not build. I did not build my Impala. I let that thing stock. I didn't even I wasn't even interested in building. I thought that thing was all so fast. And I'm saying my 06 Impala, I just think that was fast. You know what I'm saying? You hit the gas and it kind of irk and jerk a little bit. I thought that was fast. But now that I got older, I'm starting to think, I'm, I'm starting to realize that there's more to it. There's way more to it. So, yeah, so that's the plan with the build, y'all. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Like I said, I know my name is RTK. I'm still gonna be RTK because I still got an RT. That's what I started off with. We just gonna go a different route. So follow me on Instagram at RTK345. Uh, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post all my social medias in the link in the description. And uh, just follow me on all my uh, social medias, and you'll get the inside scoop on everything before YouTube will. Um, uh, need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. And I believe that is it, y'all. So I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Kill out. All right, y'all. One thing I did forget is you guys probably want to hear the exhaust. Now, I don't have a cameraman, so I'm going to have to start it and then run to the back and show y'all. But... Something's better than nothing, right? So, <clears throat> that's what I'm finna do since I don't have a cameraman to hold the camera while I started and give y'all some revs. I'm gonna have to just do it the best way that I can do it for y'all right now. So, we finna go ahead and start it up. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all can hear that. Don't sound bad y'all just for a stock exhaust and a muffler delete and a resonant delete <clears throat> so that's what we're working with y'all so i just want to throw that in the video real, real quick but make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one kill out